right, so are you ready? Welcome to the new car. Ta-da! So there we have it. It's a BMW F80 M3 competition. It's a one of two in the world because of the paint job it has. It has the individual Maldivian Blue 2 color code, and there's only two M3s in the world with this color. One of them which has the carbon ceramic brakes. All right, so there we have it. Now let's go. All right, so welcome everybody to the new car. As I said, it's a BMW F80 N3 competition. I always wanted to have an F80 N3, but I wanted to have the competition package and the second facelift, which this is. They were a bit too expensive when I bought the M2 back then, but then this very unique one came along and I got to buy it for a good price. Some of the other requirements I have are certain options. In particular, the leather wrap dashboard, the head-up display, and what I love about this car as well are the carbon ceramic brakes. I also love the carbon inlays it has. And what makes this one unique as well is the M3 embroidered in the carbon fiber here. That's not aftermarket, that's originally from BMW. God, I love that. Obviously, it has the Harman Kardon sound system. I'll come back on that later. And it has the carbon roof. One of the options I also really like, well, it's not necessarily an option, but is the M Performance steering wheel with the carbon inlay. God, that looks so good. So in terms of performance, loser. So in terms of performance, the car is equipped with an Active Auto Works equal length mid pipe, non-resonated. I'm not a fan of the non-resonated mid pipe, but I do have some resonators lying around to fix the bit of drone the mid pipe produces now. It's also equipped with the VSRF catalyst downpipes. I'm not a fan of them. I think they're a bit too drony and a bit too loud. I'm not particularly a fan of loud cars. I like sound, not volume. So I'll be addressing that later on as well. What I do like is the M Performance exhaust. Damn, that's so good. Again, I also had this on the M2. I really like the OEM looks of it. It's just such an amazing piece of kit. It's not a bad setup at all, don't get me wrong, but it's not perfect yet. And to get the sound perfect with an S55 engine, it's quite the challenge, as most of you know. As I mentioned before, it's a one of two M3, as there are only two M3s equipped with the Maladivan Blue 2 color code. So what else do we have on the outside of the car? So as you can see, the car is equipped with the M3 M4 CS wheels in orbit gray. I think they look really good on the car. They just have this very like muscular look to them. Then we also have the M3 CS spoiler painted in the color of the car. I'm not sure what I think about this. I do think it's a bit too much maybe. Maybe I'll swap it out later with an M Performance carbon fiber lip. Then we also have the side skirts. The connoisseurs among you might know that there weren't any side skirts available for the M3. They were only available for the M4, the original M Performance ones. So what the previous owner did to the car, we ordered the M4 M Performance side skirts, customized them so that they were able to fit on the M3. Obviously, he had them painted in the color of the car, and I do think they look nice. Also, maybe a bit too much, but again, maybe it's a bit of getting used to. Then we have this massive front spoiler, also M Performance, partly in carbon fiber, partly in the color of the car. Do I like it? I think it's all right. Maybe also a bit too much, but maybe I'm just a very normal guy. No, you're special. 
So another thing I'm not sure about is the fact that it has spacers on the car. Yes, it does make the car look more bulky, more, more muscular, but again, maybe, it, maybe I do think it's a bit much. Come to think of it, I'm forgetting something quite important because the car has, a, has an MHD tune of the BMW M4 GTS. So with the current setup, it's producing around 500 horsepower, which is plenty. So what are my plans with the car? Well, obviously I'm trying to bring more content to you guys. I'm gonna dive into the M3, M4 platform. I will try and get to understand the S55 engine because that's all new for me. And I'm gonna do a lot of maintenance on the car. I'm gonna make it one of the best M3s out there just like I did with the M2. It's gonna be a bit more of a challenge as this M3 has done quite some kilometers. Quite some kilometers. We're talking about almost 200,000 kilometers for a 2017 M3. Be honest though, can you tell that it has almost done 200,000 kilometers? You are now in the presence of a... So be honest, it looks pretty good for the mileage it has, right? I'm super excited to make some new content on a new platform and hopefully that helps me reach a larger audience. So one of the plans I still have for the car is to install the PowerFlex dual diff mount, dual diff, bra dual bracket diff, dual diff, dual, dual, um, dual diff bracket mount. No, well, you know the thing I installed on the M2 as well. That really tightens up the rear end and eliminates, well, any play on the bushings over there. So I'm also planning on upgrading the sound system of the car. Although it's equipped with the Harman Kardon system, it's pretty I mean, listen to this. Yeah, pretty terrible. So my friends over at Bath Sound hooked me up with a new sound system with their latest products. It's pretty awesome, but I'll make a separate video of that. Although not really to my liking yet, I must say the exhaust sounds pretty impressive. Yeah, a bit loud, but it is what it is. So another thing I forgot to tell you is that the car has KW height adjustable springs. It makes the stance of the car lower and it makes the car handle better. It's pretty cool. So the thing about this car is that it has almost all the options. It seriously has cameras everywhere. It has all the safety features but it simply doesn't have heated seats in the rear. That's the only option it doesn't have. Which is okay, which is fine. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs>
All right, guys, so that was a short introduction to the new car. We're gonna make lots of videos with the car, so hopefully you stick around and see what comes along. All right, so enjoy some more clips of the car, and see you next time. It has the individual Melon Demon Blue 2 color code. Color code. It has the Melon Demon Blue. It has the Mel Demon Blue. It has the Mel. It has the Mel Demon Blue 2. It has the individual Mel Demon. It has the individual Mel Demon Blue 2 color code. It has the Mel. It has the individual Mel Demon. Jesus, zeg. It has the individual Maldiven Blue. It has the individual Maldiven Blue 2 color code. It has the individual Maldiven Blue 2 color.